طيب شباب Let's continue with lecture 15 and here we have segment 2 Basically segment 2 is where we start solving an alternative example to example 36 which is in the book It's a long example and we're gonna solve part of it here and then the other part in the following lecture Okay, so let's see what this problem is all about. We have the reversible gas phase oxidation reaction of nitric oxide to nitrogen dioxide, NO2, is to be carried out at a constant temperature of 770 Kelvin. So again, we're converting nitrogen oxide or nitric oxide to nitrogen dioxide and of course we're going to use oxygen and this oxygen is basically coming from air okay do you see here do you see that the reaction is reversible do you see that okay so the reaction is reversible and if the reaction is reversible that means that not necessarily you will achieve a complete combustion of NO or a complete conversion of NO to NO2. The reaction will stop somewhere in the middle between conversion of 0 to conversion of 1 at this given condition. Okay, so basically the reaction will proceed forward until it reaches equilibrium and of course when I say forward I, need, I mean a net because you know that for a reversible reaction you have forward reaction and reverse reaction at the beginning the rate of the forward reaction is more than the rate of the reverse reaction but as the reaction progresses and you approach equilibrium and then you reach equilibrium there where you have the forward rate of reaction the forward rate of reaction equals the reverse rate of reaction and since they are equal that means you have reached equilibrium and at equilibrium you have the chemical potential i'm sure you remember this terminology the chemical Potential basically mu remember mu mu i the total chemical potential of the reactants equal the total chemical potential of the product and therefore the potential of these guys converting to product equals the potential of this guy converting to these reactants so therefore the summation of all the chemical potential is zero and equilibrium is reached. Okay, so what's the first requirement here? Let's determine the value of the concentration equilibrium constant Kc for the given reaction at 770 Kelvin. So we want to calculate the value of Kc. And again, Kc, the concentration equilibrium constant, where does it come from? It comes from K, which is the equilibrium constant. Where does the K come from? From which subject? Yes, it comes from thermodynamics. It's related to equilibrium. Therefore, it's the business of thermodynamics. Okay, so let's go to thermodynamics. Let's go to thermodynamics. I'm familiar that, uh, sorry, I'm sure that you are familiar with this figure. That is the equilibrium constant as a function of temperature for selected reactions. So this is ln k versus 1 over t and we look for our reaction. Hmm, do you see our reaction? Yes, there it is. That's our reaction. Okay, so let's find Kc. Oh, 
Okay, remember the revision of equilibrium lectures? Okay, that lecture which we review the chemical equilibria and that series or, or that uh, lecture actually we present to you a few equations so for gas phase reactions we have kc equals k phi times kp times the standard pressure which is one bar or you can use it as one atmosphere to the power minus delta where delta is the total stoichiometric number for ideal gases of course all the phi's or the few gas coefficients equal one therefore the ratio between the few gases equals to one therefore this guy equals to one okay and then k equals kp times p uh, naught or the standard pressure to the power minus delta and we also can express k uh, in terms of kc as well and this is the equation so we are interested in this equation i believe because we want to find kc from k where do we find k from from the thermodynamic table okay so let's find k so you see this is our equation here okay and let's look at the temperature of the system we said k is function of temperature only and it's very obvious yes it's function of temperature only so if the temperature is 770 kelvin that means 1 over t times 10 to the power 4 is basically 13 so let's look for 13 here we go this is 13 and let's see 13 let's go vertically up until we hit this line which is for our reaction and then we take the reading from the left so the value of ln k equals to zero or k equals one and of course you know that k is a dimensionless number okay so let's use this relationship between k and kc you know what r is the appropriate you use the appropriate value for r t is the system temperature which is 770 kelvin p naught is the standard pressure so it's not the system pressure it's the standard pressure okay which we said it's one bar or one atmosphere and delta is the total stoichiometric number calculated from this stoichiometry so basically here you have one minus one minus half which is minus half okay so you substitute for all these known numbers and you find kc and finally we get the value of kc which is eight times or eight mole per liter to the power minus 0.5 and of course you can explain why the unit looks like this it's because kc capital k small letter c equals the concentration of no2 correct at equilibrium right divided by the concentration of no at equilibrium times the concentration of oxygen to the power half and this is because of the stoichiometry okay so the units here cancel out with the unit here and you have it's an inverse of concentration raised to the power 0.5 here we go mole per liter to the power minus 0.5 So with this, we come to the end of this lecture where we try to find the value of Kc for this specific reaction. And as we say, the value of Kc equals 8 
mol per liter to the power 0.5 the value of kc is not very large so which represents that the reaction is does not proceed to completion okay so we'll see you again in lecture 16 to complete this example bye for now